Welcome to Watch the Dickens. I'm Sandy Toxvig. This is the culture show where our panellists have to prove they know their arts from their elbow. Uh, with Tim Brooke Taylor tonight is a comedian who's well known for appearing in top comedy quiz shows. Well, listen, make a nice change for you then. Uh, please welcome Stephen K. Amos. <laughs> Dave Gorman tonight is a poet and broadcaster who the Radio Times named as the 22nd most powerful person in radio. <laughs> powerful person in radio. Those are words that frankly don't go together. <laughs> like describing Gordon Brown as decisive. Uh, please welcome Ian McMillan. <laughs> Our first round is called the name game. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question and you have to give me as many answers as you can think of. So, Tim and Stephen, I'm going to start with you. Can you name the seven deadly sins as featured in the film Seven? If I've done them all. I know that. Uh, you naughty boy. I thought, you, I thought you were one of the goodies. Yes, I did. <laughs> Um, uh, is this the mendacity? No. Uh, I like mendacity. No, I think that's in fact a Puerto Rican band. But um, <laughs> greed uh, is very the, good. Is it uh, dopey, sleepy? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of. Well, do you know I'm going to give you sleepy for sleuth. So oh. see, uh, yes, I think that's. Okay. See how much I like them, boys. You've yes. got a lot. Reading, the, reading the Daily Mail, possibly. Yes, that's certainly, that's, uh, that's in there. Uh, uh, we've got greed and sleuth so far. Envy, gluttony, uh, sexy... Oh, gluttony you've got, oh, yes. Oh, oh. What did you say? Envy? Envy is good. Yeah. Uh, what about any sexual ones that possible? Well, um, sexual... Masturbation. Oh, <laughs> oh can we say that? I, if it's on here, I can't read it. Um, <laughs> Four. We've got greed, gluttony, sloth, and envy. We're missing three. We know we? fifteen yes. of them. Fifteen, yes. darling. You've been busy. Yes. Yeah, but do you know what the missing three are? We? Lust. Lust, absolute lust. Lust. <laughs> well, it's spelled with a U, isn't it? It's not spelled with an A. It's not last. It's no. not what cobblers use. It's a lust. It's lust. Do, do you know? Um, I, I I met a, a, a very interesting woman from uh, from Lancashire. She was very. That sweet. can't be right. No. <laughs> <laughs> She was challenged in the brain of bar, mm -hmm. and um, and she said to me, "Sunday, it is book, isn't it? Uh, because a book is a deer." That's right. And I said, "Yes, that's right." I... <laughs> and also, when you go to their house, when you go to Lancashire people's houses, you can't get a cup of tea out of them. No. Because they go, "Do you not want a cup of tea?" No, I don't know. <laughs> have you not had one? Not yet. Do you not want one? I don't know. Will you not have a cup of tea? <laughs> Just ask me. I'll tell you. Have you not had one? Not yet. <laughs> So it's lust, as in lust. Paradise Lust. Paradise Lust. <laughs> Wasn't that by Morton? Morton wrote that. I beg your Morton. Morton? Yes. Paradise Lust by Morton. That was it. <laughs> she was from Bake Up. God, can you imagine if you were trying to ask her that in a library in Lancashire, and you're whispering as well. <laughs> Paradise Lust by Morton. So there's Lust, Avarice. Uh, no, it's Pride oh. and Wrath. Wrath. Are two Roth. missing ones. Uh, anyway, I, I think you did very well, Timothy. So I'm going to give you a couple of points because you did get four out of seven. Mm. Thank you. Uh, the seven deadly sins are lust, gluttony, wrath, greed, sloth, envy, and watching Deal or No Deal. <laughs> How is that a programme? I don't understand it. Uh, over to you, Dave and Ian. Can you name all 11 Madonna studio albums? Oh, um, a little bit like a virgin. Uh, yes. Uh, erotica? Uh, yes. In a recent interview, she said that I was the man from the north she'd most like to have sex with. <laughs> I don't mean no, to be no, harsh. That, that was Maradona. Oh, Maradona, yes, that's right. <laughs> He's got great hands, though, great hands. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, he said no, of course. <laughs> the third time, yes. <laughs> there was probably an album called Madonna. Uh, there was, yes, um, interestingly. Madonna 2. Uh, no. Greatest. Like, a, like a Prayer, was that one? Like a Prayer, yes. Uh, any others? Anybody? Anybody? Madonna Studio albums. Yes. OK, supplementary question. Can anybody tell me the name of Madonna's 1993 erotic coffee table book? It's a bizarre oh, sex. sex. It was. Just I was course. banging my thing. Nothing happened. <laughs> You've already told me. <laughs> Thank goodness we've got a table in front of us. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, there are some people, Stephen, who treat this show like a therapy session, and I'm... <laughs> What does the K stand for? Are there many other Stephen Amos's that you needed to put the K in the middle? What is the K? It, it, well, it actually, actually, it stands for um, <laughs> I can't think why you shortened it. <laughs> well, you know, it, it just scans quite nicely, Stephen K. Yes. Amos. Stephen Amos sounds quite northern. A bit oh, Stephen Amos, what have you stolen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you did, you did get an extra point for that, uh, and you got uh, two points for getting four out of the 11 albums. There's other ones, True Blue. There's one just called Music, which oh. I think... It should have been done under the Trades Description Act, really. That's really, 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 it's ridiculous. Uh, these days, Madonna is constantly reinventing herself, uh, rather like MRSA. <laughs> <laughs> Back well, to you. I actually wanted her to adopt me at one stage. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how cool that would be. I'd never work again. Uh, our next round is called Losing the Plot. Now, what you need to do is name the book, film, song or musical from the much-reduced plot that I'm going to give you. It's a buzzing round, so fingers on your buzzers. OK, the first one is a film. An old biddy can't drive. Her son, yes. Driving Miss Daisy. Driving Miss Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, Stephen, you'll like this description. An old biddy can't drive. Her son gets her a bloke to drive her around. He's black, but they get on anyway. <laughs> Another film. Two out-of-work actors have a drink. They go on holiday, have a drink. They drink some more, and one of them gets a job. Yes. With Nail and I. With Nail and I, the entire yeah. plot. Um, Right, this one is a, we're getting a bit more highbrow now, this is a book. A wizard and his daughter live on an island. Actually, I don't think this counts as a book. I think this is a book. Yes. Oh, sorry, uh, you said uh, it first. Is it Tempest? It is The Tempest. I think calling it a book was a little bit confusing yes. there. Uh, it's a bit of more of a play, really. Uh, a wizard and his daughter live on an island. They have ghosts. For, they have a ghost for friends. A duke and his mates get shipwrecked. The wizard messes with their minds. Turns out the wizard is the duke's brother. And if you've not seen it, honestly, that really does cover it. I don't <laughs> On the, on the daughters both named after venereal diseases in that. Oh, they? Isn't it goneril and... Yes. Oh, and candida or something. Yes, it? I mean, it really is. It's like, it's really <laughs> peculiarly... <laughs> he was ahead of his time, really. Yeah. <laughs> Showing our Shakespearean credentials there. I think the very first job I ever had, I was uh, advising, uh, after university, I was advising young girls in the GP's clinic about safe sex. A subject, uh, if you know me well, about which I know absolutely nothing. And... Um, <laughs> And I was very anxious and very nervous. I didn't want to get it right. I'd been given all these leaflets. And I remember the very first young girl who came in, she was a young Irish girl, and I was very nervous and she was very anxious. And I said, are you uh, sexually active? There was quite a long pause. And she said, well, no, uh, mostly I just lie there. <laughs> <laughs> I know her. <laughs> uh, OK, this is a musical. Oh boy meets girl on summer holidays. Boy... <laughs> summer holiday. Summer holiday, no. <laughs> Are you going to say that didn't work? Yes. Uh, Greece. Greece, oh, absolutely oh. right. Yeah. <laughs> boy meets girl on the summer holidays. Boy dumps girl. Boy goes joyriding. Girl goes gooey. Mm. I know her. <laughs> it all ends uh, happily ever after in quite bad clothing. Um, <laughs> When Greece opened on Broadway, Richard Gere was an understudy, but sadly for him, Olivia Newton-John never fell sick. <laughs> <laughs> we also featured Driving Miss Daisy, and by the end of the film, Miss Daisy and her chauffeur are best friends. And Jenkins, if you're watching, it's never going to happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> Join us in a couple of minutes when our teams will be trying to make sense of our picture clues. Here is one for you at home. Can you find the book character hidden in this montage? Welcome back to What the Dickens. Before the break, I asked if you could find the book character hidden in our picture montage. Any luck? Go on. It's yes. Winston Smith from 1984. It is absolutely right. Winston Smith from 1984. 
dystopian novel is famous for introducing such chilling concepts as Big Brother and the Two Minutes Hate, although Channel 4 has recently extended both of those to 13 weeks. <laughs> Our next round is called Picture This. We've hidden famous names in picture montages, and I want you to find them. Now, they may seem easy at first, but I tell you, they do get a bit harder as we go along. So, as Tim and Stephen have a look here, this is a book. It's the title of a book. It's Evelyn War, is it? It yeah. is Evelyn War. Uh, um, grapes of War, no. No, no. Are they what not, are they? They're not grapes. Uh, peas? Peas. They're peas. They are peas. Is it a book? It's a book. Ah. Oh, war and peas. War and peas! We knew it. Yes, War and Peas it was. Uh, war and Peas really is an enormous book. A friend of mine just couldn't put it down, whereas I just couldn't pick it up. In the original, uh, Russian War and Peace is called Wanya Imir. Uh, it translates into French as La Guerre et la Paix and into American as Regime Change and Subsequent Chaos. <laughs> David Ian, another book for you. Oh, hello. We've got a lot of pictures. Oh, not. Yes, as if it gets very complex now. Okay. Um, what kind of dog is that? A guide dog. Guide dog. Alfred Hitchcock. Yes. yes. A galaxy. Uh, galaxy. Uh, uh, yeah, very good. Oh, we're yes. there, we're there. Okay. And a thin man in a hat. Okay. Watch an expert at work. Yes. <laughs> Alfred's dog. Goes walking in space. <laughs> you give me the pieces, I'll put them all together. <laughs> I think it's, it's Hitchhiker's. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It is Hitchhiker's yes. Guide to the Galaxy, yes. absolutely right. <laughs> this hugely successful novel has sold millions of copies and famously features the answer to life, the universe, and everything, which is 42. Uh, the question, of course, was how many sequels would the publishers really have liked? But there we are, it didn't happen. Uh, Tim and Stephen, a book character this time. Right, there's a 95 year old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Lock. What is, what's wrong with her? Look at her. That like show. A yeah, kind of show. chipmunk implant. <laughs> what is that? Apparently, it gives you a lot to hold on to. When, you, when she's singing, <laughs> you just hold on to her cheeks and it stops. Really? Yeah. That looks frightening. <laughs> She's got a couple of gobstoppers up there. <laughs> so that's a lock or a key. Yes, a lock. Lock is good. Lock. Uh, and is that Coronation Sherlock, Street? Sherlock uh, Jones. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> Very good. Sherlock Holmes was an eccentric character who often forgot to eat, was a heavy smoker, a cocaine addict, and a competent musician. Uh, all of which suggests that Pete Doherty might make a decent detective. <laughs> Dave and Ian, let's move on with the game. Uh, this is a film character. What have we got here? Uh, that's a ball of some sort. A ball? ball yes. Snake Lake. That's it. It's the old film character, Bull yes. Snake Lake. Bull Snake Lake. Yes. Uh, the mountains, where are these? Uh, these are, I can tell you, mountains this in North America. Rockies. 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 Rockies Ball Boa. Rocky, Rocky Ball Boa. Ball Boa. Oh. Very good. good. In the first Rocky movie made in 1976, Sylvester Stallone famously runs up a set of steps in a hooded sweatshirt. And in the final movie, 30 years later, he goes up the same set of steps, uh, but this time in a Stanner stairlift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next round is called Balance the Books. The questions have a financial feel, and to help you out, we're going to give you a choice, OK, of three answers. So, Tim and Stephen. Which of these musicals was the most expensive to produce? Starlight Express? <laughs> Lord of the Rings or <laughs> Wicked? Oh, right. It can't be Starlight Express because that's one with uh, the roller skates. Yeah, well, it well, costs a lot. Yeah, it was yeah. quite a long time ago, too. Yeah, the 80s. Been, yes. We all had roller skates. <laughs> yes, we did. Well, you're a posh boy, you probably had a car. Yes, I had somebody that rode them for me, the roller skates. Oh, bless. Um, Lord of the Rings is recent. Flop, was it? Did it come off? And I think that must be very expensive. It has recently been cancelled. Wicked is the one about the, the witches, isn't it? The witches yeah. in... Is that the Witch of Eastwick? Uh, no, it's the one about uh, the Wizard of Oz. Is it? Yes. Uh, very good it is too. Why would is you it? be interested in about the witches from the Wizard of Oz? Oh, you have to see it. It's very, very fine. It's, it's brilliant, actually. It's a wonderful music. Does it look very expensive? Um... <laughs> <laughs> And your final answer, gentlemen, please. I th it's got to... But, but bearing in mind that The Lord of the Rings, the, the movie, was filmed in New Zealand, and they had to get all these little creatures, uh, and they had to replicate that on the London stage. 
I reckon it's B. <laughs> Replicate New Zealand in London State yeah. is pretty good. <laughs> very expensive. I'll go for B as well. It's not a very big country. B is absolutely right. It is the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Five million pounds. Oh, oh, I know. Oh. Very similar to this production. Probably. <laughs> it would have been cheaper to bring the whole of New Zealand over. <laughs> yeah. uh, Starlight Express is the most popular musical in Germany. Well, there's something about the supporting cast in Cabaret and the Sound of Music that makes them shuffle uncomfortably in their seats. <laughs> Dave and Ian, which of these music videos was the most expensive to produce? Was it Black or White? Michael Jackson. Was it Heartbreaker? Mariah Carey. We'll die another day, Madonna. Most expensive video to produce. Black or white, Michael Jackson, is, that's one of his later, later works, where he, he's basically singing. It doesn't, it doesn't matter whether, whether you're black or white. And he yeah. does seem to be a man who does think it matters whether you're black yeah, or white, does, yeah. because he's made himself white. Yeah, well, there is that. Yeah. Hey, well, try getting a taxi in London. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Michael Jackson has to worry about that. So that... <laughs> He is just a pale imitation of his former self. Um, <laughs> I think it must be the Madonna one. Because when is that one from? That's quite recently. Because isn't that a James Bond film? Uh, yes, it is. Frank yes, Bond film, yes, yeah, Dying yes. of the Day. What do you think, Heartbreak? Can I push you on this one? I, 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 I was going to give black and white, but I'm going to bow to, to the well, knowledge just, just of just my a, Just a black and white is an older one, where it would have cost a lot of money in those days. Right. But would now be not quite as expensive in these days. <coughs> yes, so which one are you going for? We're going to go for what do you think, Dave? Uh, uh, no, I'm going to go for what you think, which is Die Another Day. Dave thinks Die Another Day. It is Die Another Day. I think it was. Hey, hey. 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 That um, Mariah Carey was signed to Virgin Records, right? And they, they, she had some what they call disappointing releases. And I'm sure you boys are familiar with those. And um... <laughs> <laughs> no. Lots of naughty people in the audience. Um, Virgin bought out her contract. Do you know how much it cost them to buy out her contract? It's a staggering amount of Wasn't money. It I Fifty tell you. million. Uh, it's you're cl it's twenty eight million dollars to not make records. <laughs> I think that's heaven. And if anybody wants to, you know, <laughs> get me off this show for, for not being anymore, I think it'd be fantastic. I, I, I personally, I do like Mar Mariah Canary. I think she's got a great voice. But you know, when you get all that kind of money, you t it all goes to your head. I did a show once, and she was on it, and she had she had a personal assistant whose job it was to have a can of a soft drink with a straw in it, hold it to her mouth, no, and then go away. That was the whole job. That was her job. Wow, showbiz glamour, eh? Fantastic. Uh, before agreeing to make the video... <laughs> I have a horrible feeling, Dave, I'm on the turn. <laughs> oh, my God, how fantastic. But I have nowhere to put it. You'll have to take it. <laughs> Come on, staff. <laughs> What was the answer? I've forgotten now. <laughs> you know, I've actually gone flush, which never happens. Uh, well, obviously. <laughs> Not in the studio. I uh, really the do have those magic powers. <laughs> I can't believe you it. You are magnetic. Uh, the answer was die, die another day. Uh, before agreeing to make the video, Madonna insisted it had to be filmed by a top director, much to Guy Ritchie's disappointment. <laughs> Our final round is called What's My Line? I'll begin a famous line and you have to finish it, OK? So the lines could be from books, plays, films or songs, and I can tell you, you two, Dave and Ian, you're just behind at the moment, quite a lot of pressure on. Well, I brought you the water. Nevertheless... <laughs> yes, look at that yes. pathetic face. <laughs> Nevertheless, I, I... saw him spitting it first. I'm, your, your answers have just not been quite up to scratch, OK? okay. So, this line is from a film. Please, can you try and finish it? Have you ever danced with the devil? Yes. Mr Bush. <laughs> I've always wanted to be smooth and say, have you ever danced with the devil? No, well, come and have a dance with me then. Oh. <laughs> I dribble when I try to say it. It's pathetic. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> people, oh. oh, ten points. Yeah, no. Yeah, but I give you points for the George Bush. I think that's very good. Have you, have you ever danced with the devil? No, but I've kissed an imp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should tell people about our personal time. <laughs> uh, have you ever danced with the devil? Anybody know the actual answer? Sure, bunk, but not dance with the devil. No, no. Stephen? Um, never done with the devil. No, it's in the pale moonlight. It's from Batman. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> From a film, we came, we saw, yes. We shocked, we awed, we said we conquered, but really we just settled down for an interminable length of time and it's all got a bit out of hand. <laughs> Uh, no, we came. We came. We saw. We, saw, we came again. <laughs> <Hosting. laughs> I've always liked the variation on the Latin. Um, it is, uh, I like Veni Vidi Velcro. We came. We saw. We stuck around. Um, <laughs> we conquered. We came. We I saw. We kicked its ass. It's Ghostbusters. Sandy, they were hard. I'm sorry. I'll make it easier for you now. Uh, these are from books. Can you colour in the next bit? <laughs> <laughs> books and plays, okay? Curiouser and... Curiouser. Curiouser. You didn't buzz, but yes, it is oh, absolutely right. Uh, Curiouser. Uh, Curiouser, you get the points, yeah. Uh, from a wonderful funny book, there was only one catch. And that was the best that could be said for the England cricket team that day. <laughs> and it was dropped, yes. Uh, there's only one catch. Catch 22. Catch 22. Yes. Now, Stephen, I feel we're coming to your area. These are from songs, OK? And I'll try and make it nice and simple for you. Uh, here's the beginning of the song. If you want to know if he loves you so... Hire a private detective. <laughs> the only way forward. If you want to know he loves you so... Check his computer records. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how to stop, just out of interest for women, do you know how to stop men uh, reading your secret emails and computers? No. Yeah, you put it in a folder marked instructions. <laughs> it's Not one man finds that funny. Yeah, all the women were clapping there. Oh, <laughs> like sheep, like sheep. Yeah, and yeah. who installed the computer in the first place? Yeah, yeah. Not having read the instructions, obviously. <laughs> If you want to know if he loves you so... Yes. It's in his kiss. It's in his kiss! <laughs> the Shoop Shoop song. Um, uh, wake up, Maggie. I think I've got something to say to you. Yes? It's been a while. I know you're not in power anymore, but it's about this poll tax thing. <laughs> <laughs> and on the second thoughts, don't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, Maggie. I think I've got something to say to you. I'm sleeping with your sister. <laughs> This isn't the time to make the announcement. <laughs> um, give me give, 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 say to you, and uh, da, 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 da. It's late September. Yes, and I, I really should oh, be getting it's... back to school. Oh. Maggie May, oh. Rod Stewart. <laughs> well, Ian and Dave, you stormed ahead oh, in that did. round. That oh. was fantastic, and no. therefore I can tell you that Tim and Stephen are this week's winners. <laughs> <laughs> That is appreciation for both teams, yes. shall we? Yes. Uh, before we go, just time for some breaking news. As George Bush prepares to write his memoirs, he recalls that embarrassing occasion when his wife cheekily asked him to bring home a large vibrating rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time on What the Diggins. Good night.